Hello, Ross. How are you doing? Good, Patsy. Yourself? Good. Oh, I'm very good, thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> life is good. And we've been having great masterclasses so far. We have had Ali Hutton, your friend. Yep. And also, I mean, all your friends probably have had Myrid. And last week we had Hamish Napier. So it's been really fantastic so far. Loads of variety and loads of great mm. um, compositional nuggets of gold. So yep. yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. And uh, well, this is just an intro for the guys to meet you. And mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, um, well, what you have planned and if you have any sort of um, homework or anything that you want people to swat up on before they see you on Saturday. I guess I was just going, I mean, it's only an hour, so I just want to just I'll maybe go over some techniques, how I kind of, you know, make a start to, to compose. And um, I was going to look at actually some recordings of like how if, if once I've kind of got an idea or maybe if I don't have an idea and I want to, to try and record a track, how I'd go about maybe just like dissecting it and go piece by piece. I was, um, so I'm going to take a track off of an album called Sanctuary that I did in 2017. So I'm going to take the first track. So if, they, if people want to have a listen to that, I mean, I could give just a wee, they could at least hear how it is finished article and then I've got I've yeah. got the guides that I would, would work on at home so I could just maybe just show show them how how I go the process maybe of getting things together and trying to get it recorded and pieced, pieced together in an arrangement so I'm kind of looking more at composing but more maybe arranging as well once you've got your uh, music so trying to you know do something with that music rather than just yeah. you know a wee tune just to try and think of it as a uh, in a whole piece that kind of thing brilliant that's fantastic that'll follow on really well from what we've been doing before so cool. you have got sanctuary was that your third solo album from 2017 yeah yeah third one and we've got vanna as well which you released last year last year yeah. yeah yeah so i mean you've been a prolific composer <laughs> and also releaser of music over the last few years and you're also totally in demand. You must be getting really busy now that the world's kind of opening up slowly. Well, I wouldn't say that, but no, there's oh. meant to be a, there's meant to be gigs in August, but then they're just cancelling. Like, oh, really? Lorient okay. Festival was meant to be the, the the next one, but then that's just kind of slowly kind of disappearing oh, <laughs> as we don't speak. Say that. But, uh, but no, I don't <laughs> really. There's not really. I've not been planning anything because there's no point. So. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's, it's fine. I'm going to, I've been, just been trying to, I'm doing other jobs. Okay. Labouring and, and all that And are you writing? Stuff. No. Oh, okay. No, are you not? Are you not feeling <laughs> no, I, I was, I was at one point last, was it last year? Maybe the start of this year. I thought that I'm going to work on a, four, my, a new album. Yeah. So I got maybe four or five ideas in and then I've not touched it. But I've been... Right. To be honest, I've been doing a lot of writing, but it was with uh, Duncan Chisholm and Hamish Napier. We've been write, have a wee writing team for Dunk's new album. So oh, that's really? actually, that's been most, that's because of that actually probably, uh, just, it's all, I'm doing most of the stuff for that. So that's yeah. been good actually. I've never done that before, the wee writing team thing. It's actually, it's quite good fun. And we were like, we, it was last year, before the lockdown when we started. So we had uh, two or three days together. Uh -huh. You know, up at Hamish's house or Dunk's house, and then yeah. lockdown, we've just been doing Zoom, which has actually been not, not bad. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, well, it does work pretty well. Yeah. And I think the, the writing team thing is if you've got something in the diary, then you're committed to it. If you're committed to other people, I imagine that's, you know, because if I said to myself, oh, well, I'm going to write something next Monday, I just yeah. wouldn't because I would get no, right to it. Yeah, that's great. I'm very so, Nashville. That's what. That's the whole co-write yeah, thing. To be honest, that, that would suit me to the ground if I could just be in a writing team and, and do that. I would yeah. honestly, I'd, I'd be totally happy just, yeah. being, you know, being at home, just do your eight hours a day. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the there'd be many people wanting to be in your writing team, Ross, <laughs> <laughs> including all of our lovely group for the Gordon Duncan experience. So thanks for chatting to me. And yeah, everyone get listening to Ross's fab album. You've also got two tune books. So mm -hmm. look those up, buy them, ask for them for Christmas or buy them for someone else for Christmas. Good. Thanks, Ross. We'll see you next time. No worries. Thanks, Bye.